Hello and welcome to another reports video. So for this video I'll be doing a core swing tutorial as suggested by a few people down in some YouTube comments. And in this video I'll be showing the way that I think that I like to do best because it's safer than others. Some are much faster, but I like being safe more because it allows you to have a structure to build afterwards with. So before I start, I wanted to address something. Yeah, yes, I know I've been quiet in previous videos. I just, I'm, I'm testing because I've lowered the Ford's volume. So it should be much lower than previous videos. Tell me if this is any better or any worse. One reason why I, I've been having to reduce the mic volume just due be, to the noise of my fans, which if you look in some of my earlier videos, they could you could hear them pretty noticeably. And I just thought they were a little bit too annoying, but I'm hoping this fixes it. And if it does, please tell me in the comments. So I'll get it on to the video. So I'm going to be doing this on vanilla because if you, because vanilla is vanilla. And if you can core swing on vanilla, it's just slightly different on other maps, but it's, it'll be basically the same. Now, I'm doing a scrimmage to show that you can do it without infinite resources and such. And it won't impact a rush too much, depending on the rush, though, it's different. So I'm choosing Pinch Fist, because you're going to be building and selling off a lot, and so to reduce that impact on economy, Pinch Fist is good. And it also, uh, cheaper repair, better collectors, so you get more resources, and you'll be able to take more hits, which one of the reasons you core swing is a turtle, and it'll make the late game even better. So let's start. And tell me if the uh, game volume is too soft, and next week I'll make adjustments to see if it's any better. The first thing you want to do that I've seen is place two mines, delete the machine gunner, and then just and then start building out your foundation. So one thing I like to do is do this, go out like this, so then you have this, and then build up here, and then place a turbine. Now one reason I want pinch, fit, pinch fits is because this turbine won't be here for long. It's just a little bit extra, a little extra uh, energy to speed this up because this can't take a while. So first thing you want to do is build up this tower back here, going building up by three, and then expanding it over. And I see I'm already having an energy problem, which is why you want to build that turbine quickly, just because energy will be something you need. Now the next thing you want to do is instead of building two here, like it's up right up here, build up two and a half because of this will do. As so once the core is out of here, build weapons platform from here and then turbines. So then what I start doing is start selling off this metal. Build up a little bit and then place a turbine up here. Now once you place this turbine, expand that out and then wait until that's done and then start deleting this. So the first thing you want to do is start making the structure, so kind of go like this, oh, I can't, go like this, then extrude it out to build that, build like that, and then like that. So that'll, what that'll do is it means that this is now defended while you do it. So then delete this, then wait. Oh, one thing you also want to do is place tech, which I almost forgot. So you want to place it about here-ish, because that's where the core will end up, about here. That's where you want it to end up. So what you want to do is then take these ropes, make sure this node here goes to that node there, and this node here goes to that node there, delete that, build another mine, and then build another turbine, and then select that right there, select this piece of metal. Now the only thing connecting the core is this strut, this strut, and this strut. So now now, now, with that, now, once you delete this strut, this core will go bloop. So, yeah. Now, to start, stop wasting resources, place upgrade center right there. And also, what you want to do is fill all these up with foreground bracing. You can do this before, but you want to make sure this is foreground bracing. Because what this will do is it'll add, act, not add, act as defense for your core. 
I mean, that's, this is one reason I did that, because of that. Now, one weakness this have is course sniping with AAP Sniper, which something is just going to happen. Things you have to accept. I'm going to go with Munitions, and then delete this. So as soon as you place your Munitions, delete that. Then grab this node, and then let it swing. And then once about there, you want to stop it. Because that'll do is allow you to connect up with that strut there. Then take this, connect there, connect there, connect there, and build this out. One thing you can do too is make it so the core is by itself, but that's a little bit different, but I kind of like doing it this way better. Now one reason why I placed the tech before I swung the core is now as you can see the tech is in front of the core. And what that allows you to do, what that means is that you have, you, you have the them taking up less space overall. So you have more space to do with other, do other stuff. So then what you want to do is delete these ropes, because even though they are putting some support, you want to be able to do that when you have control of what's happening. Then start upgrading these mines, and basically what you're doing now is waiting for if you chose to do a factory or munitions plant to build. One thing you can do is expand power. And also one thing you want to do is watch what your enemy is doing during this. I know I haven't, but make sure you're watching your enemy. If they're doing missiles, just build out like this. Machine gun all the way down. And yes, this is pretty delayed, I know, but sometimes the defensive that the defense you get from it can be worth it. So then I want to place a cannon here, which will damage the core if it explodes a little bit, but not as bad as if the core was still here. Because then it would be right on top of it, which is so much closer. And yes, the core can be more over to the right, but I'm trying to mi minimize the time that the core is disconnected. Because when, dis when it's disconnected, you aren't building any more tech or collecting resources. And not connected to your storages, which I think is the biggest part. So you're just floating resources because you only have a 600 resource cap with just your core, which fills up pretty quickly. So want to look out for that. And then double brace all of this just to increase the defensibility. Then you can upgrade power even more. And that's 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 rude. That's, that's really rude, don't you know? It's rude to shoot people, even though I'm going to do it to you. So now it's just, it's just kind of waiting. I mean, what you can do is upgrade these. Shoot them, because they are annoying. And they need to be punished for their annoyances. I think they have doors. Yeah, they have doors. That's sad. But I'm just, I'm just going to bug them anyway. Because it's fun. Next, so then build a little cannon because cannons are good. And any, if you can get a cannon, get a cannon. Because cannons do economic damage, and this is in the game, you want to do economic damage. Even though, with a heavy weapon shot, you should be able to survive a shot. Because it'll come through this one and hit, destroy these two, maybe this one, but this should provide enough support. So then, just open fire. Now, one thing, this hurricane would be better for this late game, but you're going to be turtling with this. That's why I did chose this, because it's such it's cheap repair, so you won't have as much economic damage done to you due to repairing. Makes metal much more viable, because you won't have as high of a repair cost. And as you can see, I've already damaged his core, and he's slowly repairing, so just continue to shoot. Oh, yes. So as you get, that was a pretty good shot. Wiped out his a lot of his economy and caused a lot of economic damage. So now, focus on upgrading more. Just increasing your economy and that there. Why are they fireboard? Why are they fire? Uh, not fireboard. Fireboard? Why does he have fireboard? Firebird. It's a firebird. That's kind of annoying. But you just, you can just die. Please. Die. In a hole. Probably should be defending my 
um, what's it called? Uh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm just gonna build energy shield because I don't want to deal with him. So for this, just shoot. And are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's a little bit annoying. That's fire. Uh, so just basically just continue to metal up once you hit full storages and keep whittling down your enemy. And one thing I'm gonna do just because why not is get some rockets because rockets make the world better for you, not for your enemy, but for you. Just fire again. Oh, why can't you just die? Just die, please. Okay. This isn't going that well, considering I have two heavy weapons I should be able to... <sighs> that was a sad shot. That was kind of sad. So, upgrade. I just I need more. I need more Daka. All the Daka. Please. All of the Daka. Because Daka is fun. So basically, I mean, you just more resource storage because in a real game you'd probably be using the resources, but I'm not currently, so I'm doing that just because. And one thing nice with Pinch Fist is you can just place metal and then just sell it back for the same cost, which is one advantage. So you can get all that metal back really easily and kill your enemy pretty quickly, which nine minutes, it's not fast, I know. But this is not a f strategy that is for fast kills. So if you like this style of video, um, suggest more things you'd like me to tutorials on. And there's a, there's a link in the description for my Discord server, which I'm hoping to be more active on soon. So I'll hope to see some of you there. And if you have any other suggestions for me to do videos on, because I run, about, run, about, yeah, I run out of ideas sometimes. So... I appreciate the suggestions and it's things that you guys like to watch. So I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.